I'm down by the Manzanares River in Madrid South and I've come here in order to have a look at this. The Madrid Rio. It is a urban renewal project. Uh, this used to be the site of a, uh, a motorway, the, the uh, orbital motorway around Madrid. And a few years ago, I forget the exact year, but I will put that year just down here for you. The freeway was rebuilt as an underground tunnel through here and the surface space was reclaimed to be this public realm area. Parks, walkways, people going for strolls, walking their dogs, doing exercise. I'm gonna go through and try and walk through six kilometers of it today. The Madrid Rio stretches over a distance of over six kilometers and goes from roughly the Royal Palace of Spain down to uh, the Matavero. I started at the Matavero. It is a former slaughterhouse, the main one in Spain, and has been converted into a cultural and arts center with theaters and, um, and bars and uh, some live music and the like, as I understand it. If you've ever been to Cockatoo Island, and seen the repurposed industrial buildings there. It's something somewhat similar, but I found it to be on a much larger scale than what you find at Cockatoo Island. So only about half of it has actually been converted into cultural use. That is actually close to the end point of the Madrid Rio. So you've got these little markers on the ground which tell you how far along you are. And I started about six and a bit kilometers along um, and have now gone almost two kilometers. I really like the fact that this has repurposed the waterfront and turns it into public space. It's something that you've seen in places like Portland, uh, San Francisco and Seoul, turning waterfront spaces into public realm um, and really uh, greenifying uh, the place with grass and plants and, and making it friendly to everyone. And two kilometers in is where you reach this. The Estadio Vicente Calderón, the home ground of Atletico Madrid, which last night hosted a Copa del Rey semi-final against Barcelona, which Atletico Madrid lost 2-1. I managed to catch a little bit of it at a bar in downtown Madrid last night. I've got to walk about another four kilometers along before I reach the uh, Palacio Real, the Royal Palace. So I'm going to try and speed this along a little bit. The old freeway still exists. It's mostly been put through underground tunnels, but occasionally it does pop up above ground and you can see it here as it comes up just next to the Estadio Vicente Calderón, just before it goes under it and then back underground in a tunnel again. Uh, I've almost reached the end of my walk. So just over there you can see the Royal Palace and next to it the Cathedral of Madrid. There's a little bit over two kilometers to go according to the, the guides along the ground, um, but I don't intend to go all the way through to the start. I was thinking of going on a little bit further, but it has been raining and it's a bit wet and my shoes and socks are quite soggy now. So I'm going to head back to the hostel to dry them off and I will see you all next time.